looks like we all look a little different. Yeah. You know, are we on the street corner saying, you know, be a certain way, be a certain color? No. That's another part of the, the freedoms that we have is letting other people be what they want to be mm -hmm. and accepting what they want to be. But these are all things that we can debate all day. And that's, sure. you know, and if you know me, that's kind of a parishism. You know, I like to debate these kind of things and have sure. fun. But I'm just wondering, the signs are a great idea. You know, um, I think they're, you know, it's a subtler way. Um, and it may just make everybody get along better. You still get your message out there without the, the loud microphone. So anyways, but carry on. Okay. Nathan, do you have a middle name? A what? Middle name. Caleb. And I got to go across the street here. N-A-T-H-A-N, right? Uh-huh. K or C? C. C-A-L-U-B? Yeah. And it was rushed? Yeah. What's an address for you? 1110, South 20th Street, Part B. Number B, you said? Yeah. Okay. City? Tacoma, Washington. Tacoma? Yeah. T-A-C-O-M-A. T-A-C-O-M-A. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Do you know the zip code, sir? 9405. How old? 22. All right, again, like I explained to you, this is an, uh, a complaint was filed for 415 of California Penal Code for unreasonable noise. It's a misdemeanor. In lieu of taking you into custody, I'm issuing you a notice to appear. Um, you're going to have a court date of March 11, 2014 at 9 a.m. This is the telephone number and the address of the court. You can call that number and uh, get directions about court times and stuff like that. We'll so we have to come back to California for the court? We have to call that court oh, and, they and, and see if to, to see if they can work, work, out. Together, work something out or they'll tell you when or where you're supposed to be. What I need for you to do is to sign here. You're not admitting guilt in any way. All you're doing is promising to appear or take care of this. Okay, so. What are you doing with uh, Trent? Let him cool his heels for a second. I'm going to give him another ticket and send him on his way. Okay. So he'll be out in probably 10, 15 minutes. Not trying to make your job difficult. I, no, I understand. Um, Cal like I was explaining to him, you know, California state law says that a citizen can file a complaint against another citizen. They sure. don't have to warn you or anything like sure. that. I'm required to accept that by law. Sure. If I'd have come out and we'd been, you guys have been talking and preaching in this voice right here, mm -hmm. I would have deemed that their complaint was unfounded. Mm -hmm. But because the loudspeaker, I can't make that judgment of what their piece is. And mm -hmm. it is a loudspeaker, it is noisy. Yeah. It's amplified. So therefore, I have to accept their citizen's arrest. And they can go to court. And that person who made the complaint is going to have to go to court. Why can't I return a citizen's arrest back to the person making a false claim? Would you? Because that, that's, a, that's a personal thing to say he's, he's bothered by my speech. But the California Penal Code says that any unreasonable, uh, it's not your speech, it was the noise level, the unreasonable mm -hmm. noise. Yeah. She was unable to con use her business phone and mm -hmm. make calls because the noise was so loud it was disturbing her and keeping her from that. It wasn't what you were saying, sure. it was the volume of what was being said. Yeah, what's the volume level that's acceptable? That I don't know. It's each person, you know, like I said, if I... Well, no, there, there should be a legal statute about uh, if there's a volume level at all. It's whatever disturbs our peace. I mean, if we're sitting there yelling and screaming and disturbing <clears throat> somebody's peace, they can find If we're talking like this, I mean... If I normal boy... Let's be a reasonable person here, Chad. Sure. Okay. Do you think we're disturbing anybody's peace while we're talking like this? Yeah. Uh, if, the, if, you're the con, the if, you're, if you're talking across the street to your yeah. buddy in maybe a louder voice, hey, yeah. sir, you over there in yeah. a louder voice, yeah. I don't believe that you'd be too hurt. When you're magnifying and amplifying your voice, yeah. where I, you know, when I was down there, I could still hear you guys in the street corner and I was two blocks down the street. Sure. At some point, you know, a reasonable person is going to say, hey, maybe that is disturbing their peace. So sure. they have the right to do that. Sure, but if I sit here and raise and my voice... this vo is where you're going to go to court. Sure. The, the, these gentlemen are going to go to court. Sure. And they can explain it, and the people who signed the complaint are going to have to go to court and explain to the judge why their piece was disturbed. Sure. So, and if it's, you know, and then ha what happens there mm -hmm. happens with that. Are we good, sir?
spreading the word, I probably wouldn't do it over this loudspeaker anymore today. Okay. Okay. So, all right. All right. All right. Have a good I'll day. <coughs> Works later. Well, he could have whipped you. <laughs> and then you could have then praised God for suffering for the cross of Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a um, <coughs> Hey Dan, you believe in the gospel? That devil uses sign. Need to be born again. Born again. How you doing Robert? Alright, how you doing? Not too bad.